What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody had a great day. All right guys, I got another cool photo. Actually, it's a panorama and it's of Saul 739 and we're going to have a look at this because this is pretty cool. Now, there was somebody on here. He goes by, I'm going to show it to you right now. He goes by Mars Furiosity. I kind of like that. And he put on a Mars Cannon photograph in Sol 739. Now, when you look at this thing, I'm going to go ahead and just make the picture larger. Up here in the upper part, looks like some sort of item sticking right out of this mountainside or this hillside. And there's some also some other little um, anomalies or whatever. that It kind of stands out. See how it's like dark compared to the rest of it and has what looks like a little body to it. I don't even know what the heck they even call it or what it is, right? Uh, but we've got right here. So that was pretty cool. His name's Jamie and he has this channel. He's only done a couple of these. So he's just starting out. Um, he's got this one here and I believe a moon video and a couple chem, uh, chemtrail videos. So check his stuff out. Um, I hope he keeps doing this because he's got a good eye for this. This is the panorama I'm going to use and it's right here. Okay, and this was uh, from Paul Hammond. This is not my work. This is Paul Hammond's uh, Gigapan. Thank you for that, Paul. I looked at this and I was just like, wow, this is actually pretty cool. All right, so here's the pan. And I'm going to just zoom right into that right there. Okay, here's the item that uh, Jamie was talking about right here. Now, some people will laugh and scoff at it and say, oh, it's such a low-res picture. How the heck do you know what it really is? It's probably just a rock. This is the thing I get most, right? It's a rock. Yeah, okay. If it's such a low-res photo, how do you know it's a rock? I mean, it could be anything, right? That's why I always tell people, don't zoom in. Like, put it like this. This is at 100% right now. Take your magnifying glass and look at it. So this way, the photo don't break apart, right? So I have this one to show you guys as well as other anomalies in here. And it's quite a bit. Now, I'm okay if they are, in fact, rocks. Now, I don't have a problem with that. But there are some anomalies that stand out, and we're going to try to have a closer look at these. But again, right here, and there's something down here. Now, I'm not sure what these are, but what I'm seeing here is there's something that's sticking out. But then there's white body of something, like a building or structure. See, right there, it's actually separated. Right there, there's like a lower cube type thing here. And then it goes up to this pot here, and then it has this pot sticking out of it. And this other object, not even sure what that is. But they stand out. That, that's the best way to describe it. They stand out from the rest of the Martian landscape, right? So, and now people argue, oh, it's just a rock. Oh, okay, that's not a rock. Come on now, guys. Come on. Um, secondly, let's suppose for a moment, let's push aside anything that was, that might have been intelligent life on Mars. Well, okay, we'll, we'll go with that. Here's the thing. Is it possible it's a tree? A petrified tree sticking out? And if you say yes, then you'd be wrong on that. Because according to NASA... For millions of years, there hasn't been any life on this planet, and it's been losing its atmosphere as we speak. This thing would be eroded. It would be gone by now. It would be dust. It's as simple as that. So I think that theory goes out the window. So let's go ahead and change it up a little bit. Let's go ahead and bring this all the way up. You can see that. Black and white it. Of course, that's the whole picture I black and white it. But you can see that right there. Black and white right there. All right, so let's have a look at this here. Now, this was kind of odd right next to it. You can see these, what looks like one, two, three, four, five squares, right? See that? One, two, three, four, five. And it's just, now, is it possible it just happens to be shadowing? Sure, but that many spaced apart like that, that's a little bizarre. And like I said, that's basically what this video is all about. It's just things that just stand out from the rest of the background, right? Um, this is, I'm not sure what this even is. It's got something shiny sticking out of the ground right there. See that? So I'm not sure what that is. Let me see if I can... Right there. Again, I'm not sure what that is. It just seems a bit like it was something round like this here. And then it was like this here, and that, that was the end of it. I mean, you can literally see it's like round, almost like a pipe type thing. Let's go to the next one. This is kind of weird, too. I don't know what to make of this. It's kind of like this almost like cylindrical item like this. Almost like if you took like a 55-gallon drum and just threw it on its side, right? It has like the top right here, at least a half of the top of it is doing this. And then, of course, we get the, the width of it, or the, I should say the, the height. It would be width now because it's laying down, right? But if you stood it back up, that's what it kind of looks like to me. And again, stop this any way you want to, guys. Pause it. 
Boom. Different filtering. We'll try to break it out and bring it out just a little bit better. Okay. So this is what I'm saying. These things are just kind of weird, man. They're just sticking out of just laying on the surface of Mars. Um, okay. So this is where it starts getting more and more bizarre. I'm not sure what to make of that. It kind of looks like framing more than anything. I mean, it's not like a solid piece. Well, you can see it goes up like this, goes over, goes down, piece up here. And it looks like more framing than anything. It's got this little black circle right there and something actually protruding out. So I'm not sure what the hell that is. And it may be nothing. It might be just a group of rocks. But Okay, back out. You can see right here, roughly stitched in shop and mosaic, looking along Amargosa Valley and Pahrump Hills. This was kind of odd. It kind of stood out, too. What is this right here? It has this weird framing type thing. Or it looks like a design. Goes like this here. This goes down. And goes down like this. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is in color. And I just brought up the contrast. That's all I did to it. Brought up the contrast. And it's in black and white. All right, let's see. go to the next one. Because there's, there's a few to cover here. This one looked like some kind of weird t uh, tombstone to me. Right here, because it goes down almost like this. Let me do it, do it this way first. Goes across, goes down, and then stops. It has this angle like this. This one kind of like goes all the way down, but it looks, it appears to have these two weird things sticking out of it. See that? It goes down like this. Almost like it comes out a little bit and it goes back down. Goes across. Goes back down like this. Nice corner. Well, not a full corner. Not like a 90 degree, but... But a nice little angle, right? Is that natural? I'm not so sure about that. Look at this object. Not sure what this thing is either. Got this piece sticking out of it. Now, this is what I always thought. Let's suppose for a moment it's nothing more than a simple rock. I can... Hey, I'm okay with that. But again, what is sticking out of it? I mean... Seriously, and it's got these blackened areas, and it has, like, these dotted areas right here. Almost perfectly spaced apart. Some of them on the bottom are more random. See that? Back out, so we don't have the photo breaking apart. But you can see what looks like this weird, almost triangular opening right here. See that? Just back out a little bit. Pause it any way you guys want. Use the magnifiers. Just some really weird, anomalous-looking objects. This one I had done before... Uh, there was actually a video I had done on this before. Um, check this out. It almost looks like these groups of things together. See this? And again, we can see where they've actually fudged it out. See it right here? They're literally taking these things out. This is the object. And you can see it goes down like this, goes across, goes back down. And here at the end of that one, do you see that? You can see it goes like this, goes down. And you can see where they purposely blurred this stuff. Look at it, right here. The object is right there. The whiter pot is the actual object. So what they're doing is they're literally taking these things out. See the whiter pots? Those are the actual objects. See this right here? There's like one, two. There's one in the background, another one here. They're just, whatever they are, they don't look natural. At least not to me, they don't. And you can see again where they fudged this out. Well, went too far in. Let's go right here. There's, a, there's an actual line right there. You can see where they've tried to blur this stuff out. You can look at this. Perfect. Actually, I shouldn't do it that way. They did it this way. You can see the actual line where they've done it. Even using a magnifying glass. Just check it out. Let's see. What, and, and keep an eye on these things too, guys. I mean, this is something you want to look at too. Look at all what looks like other little pieces coming out. of This like cluster of junk, if you will. All these little pieces in here. And again, just pull back a little bit, check it out. This object right here, not sure what that is. See, it goes like this. It's like, well, it's straight, slopes down, comes straight out. I'm not sure if that's like a pipe type object or it's just flat. I'm not sure what that is. See that? That's, that's a little bizarre to me. This thing's hidden right here. Look at this. I don't know if you guys can see this. Do you see what looks like these two flat pieces right here? Another one right here has a separation in it. Do you see then how that's actually right here? You can see the corner of this right. Oh, let's go a little brighter. You can see the corner of this right here. It's nice and crisp right here of this object. 
But you can see it goes like this. There's ob actually objects being hidden here, guys. Okay. Let's back out. And guys, just take a look at a bunch of this. My God. This stuff is everywhere. Like down here. I mean, you'll see some crazy things down here. Look at this piece sticking up right here. Right here. It's actually flat. Goes down like this. Goes over. And there's one, two pieces sitting right there. See that? There's one, two, maybe even three and four, but it's like flat. This is kind of kind of odd. You've got this piece that comes down like this. Up and over. Goes down. Again, it's a bunch of blur right in here. But check this out. I just noticed this. I didn't even see this earlier. Right there. There's one, two, and then we get a bunch of cluster of shit here. But anyway, it goes like this. Almost looks like a like a wheel well to a car. And you can see something actually inside there. See that? Look. Oh, I just noticed this. I didn't even notice this earlier. I was looking at this thing. Now, this is a huge rock. Check this out right here. There's another one right there. And there's something in there. Do you see that? One. Two. That's weird. This whole object right here. You see, again, those two little round circles. If you had, to, like, your pareidolia, which I don't believe in the word, but if it, if it was true and your mind was wandering, you would say, well, that almost looks like a friggin' car. I mean, that's the first thing I would think of, because we see here it on Earth, right? And we do actually um, relate things we see here on Earth to what we may see there, right? Good possibility. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, guys. I'm just saying that's what it appears to look like. I'm not saying that's what it is. It just has that weird look to it. That's all. Um, okay. This thing. Check this out. I showed this to a buddy of mine. He goes, oh, my God, it looks like a little car. I was like, what? Um, right there. And you can see what looks like little marks behind it. See it? I honestly don't know what this This could very well be a rock. But what was weird, I think what caught him is that he said it looked like a round wheel right here in the back. See that? Right there. So I guess that's why he said that. Um, this is, guys, there's a lot of crazy things in here. I'm telling you right now, there's some crazy things in here. Now, this gets better because I'm going to show you guys something cool that really stands out, and you can't tell me that this is natural. Now, here's some other objects right here. One. This thing looks like it's halfway been... They try to muddy that out. Yeah. I don't know what those things are, but they don't... It almost looks like something right here. This Whatever this thing is, is twisted. Like it has, like it's like this going up and then back down, and, but it looks like it's going like this. It's almost like it's like twisted junk on the ground. That, I mean, that's the best way to describe this stuff. All right, let's go back over here. This thing here, to me, is a smoking gun. It almost looks like another cannon, some kind of weird laser cannons. Look at this. Check this thing out. This, to me... Bam. Right there. And then you got the body to this thing. Right? Come down. But more enhanced. My God, what the hell? This thing in the back behind it looks like some kind of weird platform. Like it's right there. You can see this going like this. Goes around. Comes over here. Looks like a miniature Millennium Falcon. But it has what looks like something sticking straight out of the top of it. See that? Right there. Boom. It's like going down. Got this platform. And you can see it. It's in there. It's actually in the photo. Yeah. But to me, this alone, to me, this is the smoking gun. Between this, the other one that uh, Jamie had showed on way on this other side. That, to me... Come on now. It can't be... I, I guess it could be something natural. Like I said, if I was to guess, if I was saying, no, I don't believe in aliens, I don't believe in intelligent life on Mars, but when you see that sticking out of there, no. Nah, that's no rock. I, I think it's I think it's something else. I think it's something constructed. So, I mean, there's so much more to see, guys. You can look at, like, in here. 
all of these little rocks in here. But like I said, try not to zoom in too much because you want to see. Look at all these little, what looks like little twisted pieces right here. See this right here? All this twisted junk sitting right here. Look at this. It's got like that weird home plate kind of thing from baseball. <laughs> see how it's got that weird right there? Twisted junk laying right over here. Going up in here, things that are square. It looks like twisted trash. Look at this thing. Not sure what to make of this. See that? You know, a lot of people will still be naysayers, and that's fine. Listen, I mean, you're free to, you know, believe what you like. But judging by the stuff we've seen in these photos, there's simply no way that this stuff is natural. All right, guys, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to put these photos up on my Google+. Plus. I usually wait a two or three days after I do a video and put them up there so everybody can have a look. Um, and then you guys can scrutinize them yourself. So anyway, guys, stay tuned. Got some other cool ones for you. And we'll definitely see you in the next one.